Hey everyone, my name is Imad and welcome back to yet another video on my channel. In today's video, we will talk about how you can organize your data science projects. So there are lots of different frameworks out there which allow you to organize the way you build your projects. But there's one very interesting framework that I have been using and uh, have been seeing a lot uh, used in the industry as well. Uh, it was earlier created for data mining, but now uh, it's because data mining itself has in a way rebranded to data science, you could use it perhaps for data science. So it's called CRISP DM, uh, which stands for, which stands for Cross Research Industry Standard Process for Data Mining. And like I said, it was early created for data mining, but is now also in a way standard for data science. So let me get started uh, really quickly on how the framework is and how you could use it in some or all of your projects. So uh, first we take a look at the entire life cycle of uh, how a data science project or a data mining project can be defined as per CRISPDM. So now what you're seeing is an image that shows how the different stages in a CRISPDM project look. And uh, based on that, you can see that there is uh, the first phase right on top is the business understanding phase. And then you have the data understanding, data preparation, modeling, evaluation, and deployment, all of these uh, working uh, one after the other. And in some cases, there's also reverse feedback. And this is a very important point to note because not all phases go from one stage to another, but there's also some back and forth happening in some stages. So the first one, uh, like I mentioned, is the business understanding phase. And in fact, this is one of the most important phase in the life cycle of a data science project. This is where you define what you're going to do. And this is where you define how what you do, the project you work on is going to impact the team and the company. So it, it, it's a really important phase for you. Uh, it's a really important phase for your project where you go ahead and define exactly what is the business objective of this project and how can doing this project make an impact in your company uh, and in fact your team. So once you ha sort of ha have an idea of how this project is going to help you, you start taking a look at the data, right? So that's the data understanding phase. In fact, this is a phase where there's a lot of back and forth, uh, where you have an initial understanding of how you want to solve this problem. And then when you take a look at the data, you realize that, hey, this is maybe not solvable right now, uh, or maybe this can be solved in a different way. So what you do is you uh, figure out from the data uh, the exact business problem that can be solved. And that's why the data understanding phase is also a very important phase where you are going through the data, figuring out what data sources are available, trying to understand what data sources will be available in the future. Are the data pipelines actually built? Or can I build a data pipeline in X amount of time? That is for the, the time required for the project. Use all of this information to inform your business understanding, right? So you go back and then you tell them, hey, this is what is going to, I mean, this is not, you, you tell yourself, your team and the stakeholders relying on this project. So all of this put together will help you understand uh, your data uh, and the business problem you're trying to solve. So this is a stage where you go from business understanding to data understanding, but you also go back and uh, try and refine. Once you have this, these two stages refined comes your data preparation. And this is where more uh, technical, uh, more of your technical skills get involved, right? So you start uh, data wrangling, data munging, you maybe start building some data pipelines. Like I said, you earlier assess, but now that you've assessed and finalized uh, on what uh, are your business requirements and what are your data requirements, you now start preparing your data in the data preparation stage. And then comes your modeling stage. And, and as everybody who has done some modeling knows, uh, data preparation and modeling are almost always iterative. Uh, you're almost always trying to improve the state of your data, improve, trying to improve the state of your uh, model by uh, either improving your data or by improving your model. So both of these go hand in hand. So there's also some iteration happening here. Uh, so you do your data preparation, then you do your modeling. And of course, after your modeling comes to evaluation stage, where you evaluate your, if you're building a machine learning model, your machine learning model metrics, or also your business objective or business metrics, uh, where you want to use this model and uh, impact those metrics. And then after you are ready with, uh, say, your model, uh, which has been properly evaluated, uh, and uh, you, you know sort of, hey, this is what is going to be uh, the use case for this model, and this is what is going to be impacted, you take this uh, ready model, which 
uh, with all your evaluation metrics and go ahead and deploy it and start using it. So this is in short uh, how you could organize your data science project right from the business understanding phase of your project to getting it deployed and being used in the hands of a real user or, or a stakeholder that you may have. I hope this quick short video uh, helped you understand how you could think about going about your projects. We could perhaps uh, think of uh, building different kinds of projects using this approach. I, I mean, it's, it's up to you to decide what to pick and what to choose, of course, uh, but I, I believe this is a very good way of defining what you want to do and, and, and also defining the outcomes, uh, particularly in the initial stages of your business understanding phase. So that allows you to have a seamless flow and also to quantify the impact of your work. So do give this framework a try uh, and, and let me know if uh, you, you know of a better framework that, uh, than, than this uh, to organize your work. Uh, I would be very interested to know. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like the video, please uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in another video. Until then, it's goodbye. Take care and have a good time.